by Design. I'm glad you could join me here today. I have a really fun folio. I've been so anxious to make this one. This is using Graphic 45's Magic of Oz Deluxe Collector's Edition. And one of the reasons I was excited to work with this is that it's the only collection I never had. So I snapped it up and um, I was thinking I would make a bunch of cards and things, but the images are actually quite, either quite large or quite small. So I do have a few ideas for cards, but my first thought was to make it up into a folio. So this is seven by nine. It's a trifold with one inch spines. I've wrapped the spine with Graphic 45 washi tape and all the ribbons are from the Really Reasonable Ribbon um, September Ribbon Club, Monthly Ribbon Club, and I'm making this for their blog hop. The cover is very, very simple. You almost never see anything this simple from me. I simply cut the panel of the signature page, fussy cut the title, rounded it against the edge of my pencil, added some flower clusters, some little chipboard buttons, this really fun black and white striped grow grain, and more flowers. And that's the cover because I didn't want to, I didn't want to hide Dorothy and the scarecrow and the poppies. I wanted those to really be there. So on the spine, I've added this wonderful tangerine satin uh, with a grow grain edge ribbon and I've glued little chip boards onto the tails and then a vintage style clock and the scarecrow up at the top along with a bow. And the back cover is the beautiful poppies. So this um, Swiss Dots satin is the closure and then it opens out and we start to have fun. The inside, as plain as the outside is, the inside is fun. So right off the bat on this first flap, created a little pocket here with a little tag, a decorative tag, and I fussy cut a bunch of these little um, playing cards. And on the back, these are ATC sized. So on the back, you could put paper and journal, or you could put itty bitty photos or little um, mementos, or just keep them as they are, they're cute. Then I used charms from the Funky Junky Boutique and tied off a bunch of ribbon up here on the top just to make it look festive. So I love this mix of black, orange, green, and purple. Over here in the left side of the trifold, I created a pocket and hidden pocket and inserts. So the inserts actually hold, um, these inserts hold the hidden pocket inserts in place. And this is just a simple little wallet sized accordion album that will hold eight photos and then just a simple belly band and again I didn't embellish these a lot because I wanted there to be lots of room for photos. Then in the pocket four of these um, I think these are four and a quarter by four and a quarter um, photo mounts and this black pearlized paper is suitably spooky and then a double um, insert pocket. These are five. I want to see, say they're five by eight and a half. Hold on, I'll tell you. Yes, they are five by eight and a half. And just decorated the front one simply, but then room inside for photos and journaling. And then the second one also pulls out here. So those live in there. This one has a spine on the top, so it'll fit over the one below it. Then these go in the pocket and they actually keep that feature from flapping around. And then this goes in the pocket as well. So then this is really fun. This opens out again and I created a really large, this is six and a quarter by six and a half. And this is a little flip folio. And decorated some pages with um, cutouts and stickers and then other pages are just plain but I created these fun pull-out pages and what I did was I cut two of these tab tops from the ATC die that you can get from Graphic 45 and glued those behind the layers so you can use those to pull these out of the hidden pockets. And I don't have a tutorial for this. If I have time this month, I might work one up 
but I have an awful lot going on this month and um, but it is a fun design and I think you would enjoy it so anyway these turn and like I said room for large photos and then decorative pages as well and then all of these pullouts in between so really fun and then it also flips back this way so there's you can do like this so room for quite a few large photos there and then this little um, ribbon belly band just wraps around and I added one of the chipboard tags there just to dress it up a little bit and that just keeps the pages closed and then here is a flip page just fussy cut a bunch of elements from the paper and this folds out and here's a wee pocket with a little charm and a chipboard and then this is so cute it's just an itty bitty little accordion with all the characters from the story and room on the back for journaling and again this has a little ribbon belly band and this just slips in this pocket so that's that section and then the heart of it is this large waterfall this is nine four and a half by four and a half waterfalls it has a little magnetic closure and isn't that fun and then these just are covered with the designer paper and you just add photos and you're good to go so and I don't think I did anything underneath just this cute paper I didn't want to cover up those stamps so that is the folio. There is a blog hop going on right now with really reasonable ribbon. You'll want to check it out because you could win your own ribbon club assortment. These are great Halloween ribbons and very um, adaptable to use with any collection. So finally, after all these years, I got to play with the magic of Oz and it was worth the wait. So that's me, Kathy by Design. There will be a photo gallery following so you can see still shots and you can find details and tips and tricks on my blog as well as the blog hop list. So subscribe to my channel. I'd love to have you join me. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. That helps um, other users on YouTube find me. And now I am going to go get my craft on. Bye.